This is a brief tutorial on how to create a contract request in Salesforce and if necessary uh, create and attach uh, a purchase order to this contract. Um, okay so let's imagine that uh, we're talking with a partner let's say it's uh, Chelsea Football Club and uh, we come to an agreement for their content uh, it's a standard rev share deal uh, with a five thousand dollar MG. Um, so we really need two things to happen here. Number one, we need to create a contract and uh, ask legal to go ahead and draft this for us. And we also need to get approval for the financial terms of the deal, the, the $5,000, and we need a PO for that. So let's start with the contract. So we go contracts, new contract, and it's a rev share deal we said. So now you're going to be presented with all the fields uh, that allow you to um, basically tell legal uh, what kind of information uh, should be included in the draft. So we don't have a PO yet. Um, special ABOD terms. Yes, we know it's an MG deal. And we said it was $5,000. So let's say the contract start is upon signature. And like I said, I mean, you see in here there's, there's a all kinds of different um, fields, you know, whatever information need to be, say, the territories, uh, everything. Basically, it, it's the idea is to have all the information in one place, so there's not a lot of back and forth emails uh, about what should go into the contract draft. So let's hit save. And now I'm going to click submit to legal, and it tells me that okay, I need actually I, I need to create a purchase order and attach it to this contract. And remember, that's because of that $5,000 uh, MG. If there was no MG and it was a standard rev share deal and it didn't require a PO, when you click Submit to Legal, it would send it directly to Legal. Uh, so let's click OK, and it's going to guide me into creating a purchase order. So I'll hit OK. And I will see we're creating a new purchase order. We said it was an MG. We said it was $5,000. Payment date is October 15th. It's a one-time cost. The contract is attached here. Perfect. Click Save. Now when I click Submit for Approval, it's actually going to send the PO for approval, and at the same time, it's also going to send the contract to legal. So let's do this all in one, all in one push. Okay, so now we can see the PO. It's pending manager approval and the contract if we scroll down we can see it's been accepted by legal right here so that's pretty much it all in one uh, all in one place we created a contract and a purchase order uh, so lastly uh, just a word on communication um, the idea is to keep all communication uh, around the contract on this one particular page in the system. Uh, before we had a lot of emails back and forth uh, and it can get very messy so uh, the idea is to keep all the communication within this page so you can type you know at and then you know ask your question uh, and then the other alternative is um, these buttons that we've built in here so you'll see the legal team status under legal review um, this is uh, locked uh, for the requester. Only legal can update this button. But every time they update it, uh, you're going to get an automatic email kind of letting you know uh, where in the internal uh, legal process uh, your request is. So uh, the idea is just to provide some insight uh, into the legal pipeline um, and um, let you know if it's uh, waiting on uh, somebody's signature internally or it's just being started to be draft, uh, this type of thing. Uh, and then lastly, uh, also if we click edit, uh, the requester also has a button right here, requester status, uh, where they can make an update too, say, you know, partner signed and hit save. And, uh, but just be, uh, you know, only use that button as needed um, because when you, uh, when you click save and you provide that update, it's actually going to send an email out to the whole legal team. So definitely use it uh, only as needed. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have uh, any questions on the process, just uh, let myself or, or Modulin.